So we're here at the University of Edinburgh today in the Georgetown Edinburgh um, meeting with just wonderful, diverse, young future leaders of the world from many regions of the world. So it's really it's glorious for all of us uh, to see this. Um, we're, we're, we're talking about uh, universal health coverage and its link to global health security. And one of the things we began talking about was the idea of, you know, what is security? Uh, and are we just securitizing everything? And if you securitize everything, then it's meaningless. And so um, we tried to define it down to being security, meaning the ability to rapidly um, uh, uh, detect and respond effectively to fast-moving, potentially fast-moving infectious diseases. There have been lots of statements about the importance of linking global health security and universal health coverage together. And it seems primarily for political purposes of bringing those things together because they're two important topics in the world at the moment. But what we are trying to do here is really try to get beyond just the statements and think about what is what is the evidence base for the linkages? Is there a research agenda that we can look to that will support truly defining how, how the two large topics intersect? And are there places where, um, are there certain parts of health security that can be emphasized that are most strongly related to health system strengthening and universal health coverage? Are there other pieces that are kind of on the margins? But how do we start to dig in a little bit on this and? and determine what, what is, what's behind the statements. And another key goal of the workshop was, of course, to bring together scholars to create a community of practice around health security. And the interesting thing about this is it's not one discipline, it's not law, it's not just epidemiology or public health or anthropology, it's all of them together and integrated. Right. Um, and so far, most scholars are working in isolation or working with different governments or different institutions. So if we can create a community um, which will be continued into the future with the large conference Rebecca and Adam are holding, um, then it would be just wonderful to move it forward beyond just policy statements to actually a research agenda where there's evidence to say if you invest in health workers, actually it's going to prevent this pandemic. If you invest in laboratories, actually it's great for also diagnosing whether a child has a bacterial infection or not. So in a sense, trying to find the evidence to build towards actually Say, say the building blocks of UHC, the building blocks of age, um, health systems strengthening, global health security, as well as universal health coverage. Yeah, I feel very fortunate to be here. Mm -hmm.